So a lot of people said that they were interested in a mounting tutorial. I will try to tag everyone who commented, but um, that's what this video is. Buckle up, it's two minutes long and it's very educational. <laughs> so I sectioned my brains on this thing, it's called a cryostat. A lot of people in the original video were asking how I got my section so thin and it's using this thing. It moves kind of like, I always think of it like a deli slicer, but like in reverse. So that area that I was just sort of stroking with the brush um, is where a blade would normally go. We keep the blades out when it's not in use for safety reasons. And then that giant circle at the back is actually going to move towards the blade in the same motion that like a deli slicer does. The thing I just put into that circle is called a truck, and that's what you attach the brain to to attach it to the machine. Then you turn this little wheel and it moves that, and in very teeny tiny increments, that circle is moving closer to the blade. So that's how I do my sectioning. There's also this machine that's called a vibratome. Basically what's happening here is that the blade is vibrating back and forth very quickly to section the brain. And there are different reasons why you'd want to use a cryostat versus a vibratome. So here I'm getting the brains ready. I put them on that chuck that I mentioned earlier, and then I'm putting some OCT on it. OCT is a sectioning compound that's going to protect it whenever I section. Then I very quickly slice down to the area that I'm actually sectioning. And I know this is going fast, but you can pause or slow it down on your own, I'm sorry. But this is how I put my sections onto my slides. The key thing here is that you need to be grabbing the OCT and not the brain or else you'll damage the brain. And what's happening here is that the slide is like at room temperature and the brain is at negative 22 degrees Celsius. So these sections are actually like melting onto the slide and that's how they stick. There's another method people use where instead of putting the brains onto slides, they'll put the brain into a liquid, usually PBS or a specific stain. And I'll show how you get those on a slide in a second. So I'm pretty sure these brains were in PBS. You'll notice they're a lot smaller than the brains from earlier and that's because these ones are mouse and the ones from earlier were rat. The pink that you're seeing is just a dye. So what I've done here is I have my little paintbrush. I'm just going to very gently pick it up. You really hardly have to do anything. The brain is going to stick to the paintbrush. And then I think the key thing here is that the slide is partially sitting in the PBS. So whenever I put it down, it's still like in a puddle. Oh my God, this is moving really fast. I'll put words on screen to explain the rest of that part. For this part, I'm just putting a line of my mounting medium on the slide. And these sections have dried onto the slide, so they shouldn't be moving around hypothetically. Notice how I'm lifting the cover slip and then putting it back down and lifting it again that's to get out any potential air bubbles so this is a sped up video of me doing basically the same thing except in this video i'm only using a dot instead of using a line like earlier this is mostly a matter of preference but in my opinion i think doing the dot works better whenever you only have one sample so it doesn't risk like spreading out so i hope this was helpful and educational and the biggest thing is just to practice i was in a lab once where this was my job for an entire year and that's why i'm so good at it